Greetings, Dan Halligan from Kayana Games, and welcome to York vs. Asquith Season 3. We have refreshed the builder's market, and as always, we seem to get quite a lot of interesting items. This queen suite is a part of the expansion stretch goal, and it's a fascinating tile because you're able to play one guest and double a favor. And it can be very powerful, and it converts to a monument after that one time of uh, the inaugural hosting of that guest. Uh, we have a very powerful music room, a main library, which not only confers objective cards, but also victory point cards if you play it twice. And then we have a monument. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what the courtship is and whether that monument is meaningful. So let's go over and let's do our Dickens Varial Courtship. Seven. So that is going to be revealed on turn 10. And we're going to begin turn nine with a village fair. We need to move our first player marker back over to Asquith. And Asquith has not, they did benefit from it, but they have, uh, they have not planned for the village fair even again. And so they get no benefit from the village fair that's occurring. And, but they do have a freshly passed setup, which is a little bit of money which is a lot of servant availability as well as all their guests available. So let's see what we can put together as far as a, a great play here in turn number nine. I think what we're going to do is we're going to continue to follow a path, and that is going to be the smoking room. We're going to play the smoking room. We're going to invite these two guests. get a little bit of money, get that reputation to get us up to a third level and plus some. So that'll be that'll be great. Let's provide our service. We're going to provide activity service with the butler. And then we're going to come down and we're going to give a valet to Sir Alan Fulford, Baronet. And let's see what we enjoy. We're going to enjoy 300 pounds. Grab 300 pounds from the supply, gives us 500. We're going to have two reputation plus three reputation is five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Get that third level back on the outskirts of the fourth level. Great little turn. Love it. Let's break down and see what we can get in the market. So we come over here and look at the market. We have 500. We can get into we can't get into the smoking room because we already have one. Uh, I'm not really interested in the riding stables. Six hundred for this queen suite. Six hundred for the music room. Queen suite does confer positive front side victory points. So those are both 600, and I think that's what we got to go after. We're going to have to go to the money lenders and get a little bit of money. I wish I could consult you on what you think I should pull. If I look real quick over at my prestige guests, I don't have, I've got one bleeding prestige guest. That's absolutely horrible. So that, and that's a six. So I don't think the queen suite is useful. So I'm going to purchase the music room, which is going to be a very, very powerful tile. Prestige is looking great. I hope Prestige comes up next turn when we reveal that variable courtship. I put 500 in the middle, and I do need to go to the back to the money lenders in order to get that uh, extra 100 to afford that. So turn is done, and even with the borrowing, I think an excellent turn. Let's come over here and uh, realize that we start this turn with a family that has planned. They're going to get 300, gets them up to 600, by the way. I should refresh my market here. And holy smoke. Whoops. She fainted at the sight of that French garden. Wow. 
Uh, I also get two reputation, and you know what else I get? And I know some people are screaming at me from the last video. I played this flower room, and I did not take my reputation from the barn. That is almost a reason where, you know, this reminder tile is just intended to be a tool. You know, that's the kind of thing that just reminds me I've got a reputation play, and I should have that present. And now that French garden's up here, that's a 1,000. I do have 600 there. Let's think what we can do to maybe generate that additional 400 because that's a 17-point victory point play. Getting forgetful. I went around the top, forgot to flip that to it too. Well, my hands are tied. Um, going to be banking some money because I have three prestige guests and I, I can't play. So I could hire, but I've already hired. So I'm going to pass. Reclaim my deck and refresh all my service and look at this I'll pick up an extra two i'm at 800. you coming to daddy ain't you and now i gotta decide since i'll be able from a full deck to get some money in my next play um do i want to grab something else as long as I'm able to get up to a thousand, well, actually, it won't be a thousand if I grab some something else. I'll be discounting that, and they've got nothing. Do you, York? Living with the money lenders. See if I can make you pay for that. I don't think I want to go big, but I think I've got 800, that would drop me to 400 and the thing would be 900. I have to get 500. Hold on a second while I look at my card. You are absolutely going to love my play. So I am going to take, you got you got to be patient though. I am going to take this smoking room for 400. Now that smoking room is going to give me my path for next turn because I'm stuck at reputation level two. I can't get into anything else. But what is the smoking room give me? It gives me reputation. Watch how you see I leverage that reputation. You're going to absolutely love it. Let's refresh the builder's market on schedule for once as all this gravy becomes cheaper. Jeez, so oh peace. And we have a fenced paddock. Okay, we're going to turn 10. It is time to reveal our theme of our variable courtship. Come with me. See what we have. Ooh, oh man, you can tell I sort of lean Asquith because I talk about them in the first person, this one in the third person, and uh, that's a, I'm toast, see there I'm doing it again, five to two, and the problem with recovering in any sporting courtship uh, is that you always have front side negative victory points on every sporting tile. So it's always two plays away from being able to make up a gap. And so I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it, particularly with my interest in other locations. So that is a straight out concession to York. So that, uh, that's an interesting profile emerging for Charles Elizabeth Fairchild. So let's look at York. Uh, let's rotate service. See what our path is. We're at three. Look at all the roses. I haven't played that butler's uh, room in order to hire. That would tie me, but you know what? The last, the last courtship, the theme that's revealed will have one-fourth the value of those three that you see now because this is evaluated by itself, by itself, by itself. Then we flip and evaluate all four together. So I don't know that I want to make a play that I don't need to make to bolster a theme that hasn't shown. I hope that makes sense. So let's see what I can find here. Do you remember when I talked about having a, a domestic staff that had a lot of flexibility and power? You're about to see it on a very interesting play. That is that I want to get my reputation to level four to make that music room happen next turn. And so what I need to do is I need to go back and one of these tiles, and I think I want to do this tile. So I'm going to go to the smoking room. Now, flexible domestic staff lesson number one. 
I'm able to come in here and grab the under butler in the place of the butler to host this, uh, those three gentlemen in the smoking room. These are the three gentlemen I'm inviting. It's my last three gentlemen in this deck. I'm sort of underpowered on serving the ladies, but I've got these guys covered because flexible domestic lesson number two, I have a brushing room so that my footmen can jump in and provide the service that they need there. Now, is that, is that nice? I like that. And look what this turn does for me. Even though these are somewhat humble guests, I start out with 200 because I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the money there because there's just too much good stuff in here to not start banking a little bit of money. And then on the reputation front, I get a cancellation of those two, but I get those three reputation there, which is one, two, three, bam. I'm into my music room next turn. That's great news. And then uh, invites, I get an invite from Sir Charles Wadsworth Baronet. Be good, baby. And it's not good. <laughs> and adventurous. My, I've never seen so many negative guests <laughs> all come at once. But all in all, a strong turn. A strong turn. Doesn't flip because that has already been flipped. Keep that rose up. Boom. Like it a lot. Let's get back over here to um, Asquith. If you remember, I had a clever plan where I was able to spend the money for this smoking room. We're going to actually have smoking going on in, all over the county. And I'm going to come up here with this smoking room. I'm not playing in a state tile, so I don't need to remember anything there. And the two guests that I'm going to play are going to get me that 500 I need. I'm going to play these two guests. Let's provide service. I had passed, so I'm chock full of service. So look what this does for me. Now, unfortunately, this CAD hurts my reputation, but I do have three reputation coming in there, and I'm giving up two, but I get 500 pounds. So I'm going to net one reputation, and I'm going to get 500 pounds that are going to come in. And that is the end of that turn. Except now we're going to the market with a little hop in our step because we're about to get 17 victory points. And that's now worth 900. I got 5, 4, or 2 is 7, 8, 9. Come to me, French Garden. Now I also have my national holiday play, which is wonderful, and I get 2 prestige guess that's just such a sweet play hold on i just patted myself on the back and i'm grabbing another tile here and we have the west terrace now we're starting to get the estate tiles which lead to invites and i'll get i'll get a reputation when i play that french garden nice Coming back over here, we now move to Builder's Holiday. Builder's Holiday refers to the ability of a player to buy as many tiles as they can afford. You can go, you can go get loans, you can accumulate money, but you can buy multiple tiles. What it really translates into is occasionally someone will be able to pick up uh, a tile that's at a bargain along with a tile that they're interested in. I've, I don't think... Maybe once or twice have I ever seen more than two tiles. And it is the turn for York, and we know what our turn is going to be, don't we? Now, let me just take a look at my hand. All right, let's rotate service. Took care of all the men last turn. We're going to take care of all the ladies this turn. Coming in for a, a recital. And we're going with these three. And the reason I'm going with these three is i got to start dismissing bad guests. So um, I have a worse guess, the one that I just picked up. I'm going to use her dismissal function. She's going to cost me 200. I'm going to pick up 100 here, but I got to get. I have to get more prestige guests. I, I can't remember a, a game where I've seen so few prestige guests. So it's just the, the nature of the beast. Let's provide service for the music room. We have the ladies' maid providing service and the housekeeper because there are no ladies' maids available. 
is helping out. If there were ladies' maids available, we cannot use the housekeeper. So let's see what we have. Remember, we, we net a negative 100 here, so I've got to pay that in and come back with 100. And then on reputation, I have one reputation there and four there. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then on invites, I'm going to have a second level prestige guest. Now I want higher ones. That's the one I want early on. That's really, that's sort of a lame prestige guest. <laughs> And then lastly, I have a dismissal. So I'm going to dismiss this guest who has negative two endgame victory points. And break down. Great play of the, uh, the music room. Really strong and prestige. And I picked up a victory point. Well, I had a victory point when I picked that up. Goes in there. And we move on. All right, Asquith has a problem. Look at the reputation of York and Asquith. Right now, that's three victory points in the end game for Asquith, and that is 15 victory points for York. Uh, and it's only going to get worse. It's a triangular number sequence. I have to make this play um, in order to get my reputation up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite the love interest, which I, I can't let that get away from me. I'm going to have the necessary service. Money, we have 200 there, and we lose 100 here for the pauper. So we're going to net 100. It's not the kind of money I want to be bringing in at this stage of the game. But I do have five reputation. One, two, three, four, five. That's so big for a number of reasons is that it'll allow me to come immediately back and get into this drawing room for additional reputation. Hate to be replaying a bowling green and at the end of season three. That's that's not that's not a power play. I had to get the reputation up. So here we have the season three courtship. We know that sporting is the area of interest for Charles and Elizabeth Fairchild, and that's been won by York. Must return the gentleman back to Alderley Hall, who's visited for a season, and York is then going to enjoy a victory point card. That's, that's interesting too, when you're looking to make a key purchase, that can be very, very big. And he, because of his service propensity for gentlemen, is going to take the gentleman and reacquaint. Whoops, that should be my discard paw. Is this my discard paw? I'll look at that, clear that up. So that's the end of uh, season three.